日曜なんて大嫌いですさてと Well, hello everyone, and welcome to your favorite Sunday s show. Oh my. This little episode is the peaceful one before the storm. Because the next four are just going to be wild as fuck. Because today, in exactly seven days, my big fucking journey starts. On Sunday, I fly to London to see the second part of Best Friends with Tommy Wiseau and T Greg Sestero. So, since I'm only going to be in London for 40 hours and we're going to save that for a London Void episode, I will be doing a stream from London. The week after that, I will already be in LA and doing an I Hate Sundays from there. Fuck knows what's going to be going on there. Then the week after that, I will actually be recording the I Hate Sundays on the set of The Room Actors Where Are They Now? And finally, the Sunday after that, well, we'll be at the Fantasy Film Fest then. So I'm probably going to have to do a stream there too. So the next couple of weeks are going to be crazy as shit, people! And I'm a little nervous. And that's why I'm also like saying, anyone watching this, if anything's going on in LA in one and a half weeks, like a screening you want me to attend, or, or any, like, anyone who wants to get an intervoid in LA, or anything at all, you gotta write me. Because I, I'm just gonna be soaking up as much shit as I can get there. So, anyway, I've also. Uh, released two quickies, one for Hectic Knife and one for The God Inside My Ear this week. I know I promise the strangers, and I've already started editing it. It's fully done recording, and it should be up there with you latest on Tuesday. I might even squeeze in another full of the Movie Void episode before going to London. Yes, you've heard that right. I'm attempting to do two full Movie Void episodes. To make up for it, because there weren't a lot of those recently, like since a month, I think, since we had our last full episode. But、uh, there were a lot of quickies, so, so, so don't be hasty with me. It's gonna be, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Season two is ending with a bang. Ba boom. Ba bam. Ba da boom. boom. Big. Big. Yeah, big ba da boom. Big. Bada big boom. Big yeah. boom. Yeah, big bada boom. Bada boom. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> There hasn't been that much crazy shit going on this week. So, we're gonna do what we always do on weeks like this. And that is react to some tasty ass trailers. Let's start off with something that appeared on my news feed today called Slice. Now, this is a short trailer. Let's give it a go. I'm going to tell you a story、yeah, about a ghost,、story. a werewolf, and a pretty shitty pizza place. Well, that sounds、it、like Queenie, Gory, and the Dark Board Picture Show got to give a pizza delivery boy. The Dark Board Show. He was murdered show, while making a routine delivery. Kingfisher Chronicle. Can I ask you a few questions? Find the wolf, you'll find your killer. We're denying ghost involvement in the killing of Sean Hammerschmidt. Looks like I'm going on a wolf hunt tonight. Is that Chance the Rapper? What the fuck does that have to do with pizza?、Uh, okay, your pizza Chance the Rapper. Is a gateway to hell. Horror Wait, movie with a pizza place. This place is built on a gateway to hell? Built on a gateway to hell. Oh shit, this is stupid. I've been saying that. What? Never. Down. This is something you should have ended a long time ago. Damn. Look, this could either be a huge pile of fun or being something just so dumb. 
that no one's really going to be in the mood oh, for. Oh shit, god damn. What's wrong with you? <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. I might give it a go. Let's see what happens when it comes out. Now we also got a movie called I Think We're Alone Now with Peter Dinklage. I wonder if this is also a reference to that Tiffany song. I think we're alone now. It doesn't seem to be anyone around. I think we're alone now. Okay, let's check it out. Empty streets, American flag, body bag. Sounds like a freaking song. Empty streets, American flag, body bag. See, I'm not buying Peter Dinklage looking like this scary fellow. You know, he's Tyrion. He drinks and he knows things. That's what I do. I drink. And I know things. Doesn't roam the streets looking all... Why are you? Asking people why they're still alive and shit. Where are all the bodies? There's a lot of bodies. Is he like this little detective? Has anyone ever told you you're kind of a weird guy? Yeah, but they're all dead now. This is one of those movies that tries really hard to be as artsy as fuck. It's about where I, came from. I don't trust it. It says, Fuel me with drama! All over it. So. What's wrong with you? I don't know what I was doing when it happened. You keep your town. This is way too much drama for my ass. There's only from now on. You're supposed to be here. I'm not really still not really noticing the true horror aspect in this. This seems like a really truly depressing um, murder mystery without many horror elements. Well, well, again, we'll just have to see what happens, but I'm not not looking forward to this as much. Oh my god, it's in theaters on the 14th of September in Los Angeles. Well, I just might. I just might check it out. No, it's 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 we could like get a review before it before it becomes on demand. Yeah, I'm gonna, but it seems pretentious. Now for the last one that we're going to close today's Sundays off with is gonna be one that I know we are that I am like pretty sure we'll be seeing in LA. I already found a place that's screening it. I just love ch cheap, cheesy Misha Barton horror movies. And this one's called The Basement. So we're going to be checking this one out. And um, let's see what the trailer has to offer. Forgive me for the horror I have sent. I've killed seven people, tortured them in unspeakable ways. For these sins, I ask absolutely. Oh, this is so some religious torturing going Something on. Something has here. happened to my husband. He went to the store, but he never came home. Have you heard about this Gemini killer? No. He always answers his phone. He'd find a way to call him. Perhaps an interesting tattoo. It's Gemini. Oh, it's when? A very lost soul. How difficult would it be to knock out a tooth? <laughs> 
I'm not, I'm not getting any convincing from these performances, I have to admit. That's okay, I'm sorry. It reminds me of like those movies that um, were being like made in the mid 2000s when people were trying to cash in on the whole entire Saw phenomena. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. What you see on the outside. This could work if the I smile all the time. Performances in the final product were a bit better than the performances in this trailer. Oh boy. What a list of uninspired trailers we had today. I think I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs> Nevertheless, we discovered two films we might actually watch in LA. Oh my god, LA. Guys, it's the big one. It's the biggest movie void voyage we have ever gone to. London, Vegas, Los Angeles. In a matter of three weeks. We'll be on the set of The Room Actors, Where Are They Now? We will be meeting our fellow YouTuber, Alexandria Vaughn. We will be trying to get into as many screenings of movies no one has seen yet as we can. It's going to be crazy. So, say goodbye to this background for the next three Sunday episodes, because we won't be here anymore for the next three weeks at least. I am so nervous and I'm so psyched and freaked out because this is actually happening and I can't really believe it. Wow. <laughs> Wish me luck, everyone. The big trip starts next week.